will start with the knee ligament injuries. We all know that the knee has got two cruciate, two menisci, two collaterals, and patella tendon is there, popliteus tendon, popliteofibular ligament, capsule in synovium, and hyaline cartilage. Our session typically is going to discuss for you all for cruciate collateral and menisci. So before we move on to the, the injury proper, we need to just see this. This is an arthroscopic image of the right knee, whereas this is the distal femur, femoral condyle. This is the intracondylar notch. This is ACL antecruciate ligament, beautiful antecruciate ligament, arthroscopic view of the right knee. This in this hidden under the synovium is the PCL. This is ACL. This one here you see a small area. This is medial tibial plateau. This is lateral tibial plateau. This is medial femoral condyle. This is lateral femoral condyle. And this white covering is the hyaline cartilage. ACL is the most commonly injured total, you know, ligament which gets completely ruptured. Is the ACL most commonly injured. Just a revision, not really very important that the ACL on the tibia is attached. So here you've got the lateral tibial spine, medial tibial spine. So between the two tibial spines somewhere here or the tibia, the ACL is attached. And as it moves up, it is attached onto the medial wall of the lateral femoral condyle. So this will be the lateral femoral condyle. This is medial wall. This is lateral wall. So it is attached to the medial wall of the lateral femoral condyle. What is this PL and AM? I'll tell you in a moment. So this is not really very important for a graduate. But now these days they ask this in exams. ACL is theoretically and practically supposed to have two bundles. It's like two separate bundles. Though in this figure, if you see, it looks as if it is one. But maybe functionally it has got two bundles. One is known as anteromedial bundle, another one is known as a postolateral bundle, often asked in exams. Anteromedial bundle, which is, and these bundle attachments are according to which is attached on tibia. So this is the anteromedial bundle, which is, which goes straight up here. That's the anteromedial bundle, and this is the postolateral bundle. So AM bundle is typically important for the anterior posterior instability. It gives the knee more and more stability for front to back. Whereas the posterolateral bundle gives the stability in the rotation, in pivoting activity. So you might have seen, you know, when we turn on the leg, this is like a pivoting. Let's say when you are walking and suddenly calls your name, so and so, how are you? You turn back like this, okay? So that's your pivoting on your knee in football, basketball, ball, and many games where there's a lot of landing, rotation, that's a pivoting activity. You are... Um, walking on a very uneven surface, there also it requires a lot of pivoting action on your knee. So, postolateral bundle gives a lot of pivoting support or the rotational support to the knee. And that is important for you to understand because in exam they will ask you which one gives what support, especially the, the high-end MCQs. What is the function of ACL? So, if I pull this tibia in the front, you can see here, what will happen? This ligament will become very taut. The ACL will be taut. So, Typically, so it prevents excess anterior translation of tibia. If I fix the femur, if this is femur and this is tibia, if I fix the femur and I pull the tibia forward, it will move a little bit ahead. It will move a little bit, but not beyond a point because ACL will become taut. And this is what students forms the basis of anterior draw test. So if ACL is torn, you can move more than what is normally expected. It also gives rotational or pivoting stability. How does it get injured? There are two mechanisms. The common is sports injury, where there can be direct contact or even the pivoting when you know people jump, land. You may you might observe, especially in football, just observe half a you know about 15-20 minutes game of any football, basketball, and volleyball. You will see that just so much of stresses and strains on the knee, especially in terms of rotation. You know, in football, you know, people kick also each other. So that can result in contact or non-contact twisting injuries. Road traffic accidents in our country where there is you know, the, there's a lot of motorbike accidents happen can also result in the injury to ACL. 